Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin and if you guys are new here, welcome. My channel is all about tech, sneakers, and how to basically start a YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the best keyboards on the market right now for creators and just everyday users. And that is the Logitech MX Master Keys. I've had this for about three months now and I absolutely love it. This keyboard starts out at $130 Canadian and $100 US dollars. It comes standard with a one-year limited warranty from Logitech. The first point of why I think this is a great keyboard is connectivity. You can pair up to three devices with this keyboard, which is super handy. So for me right now, I only use it with my iPad, but if I really wanted to, I could connect it with my iPhone or my iMac, pretty much anything that is Bluetooth because that is one of the ways you can actually pair it. The other cool thing is you can use it across three devices simultaneously. So say you're someone who works with multiple computers, you can actually use just the one keyboard for up to three different computers or three different Bluetooth devices. Now that is huge. There's no unplugging and plugging into certain devices. You can literally just use it with three different devices at the same time. Now we kind of touched on this already, but you can pair it with Bluetooth, which is super easy, or you can do it by a unifying receiver by placing the USB-A into the device that you want to connect the keyboard to, and it's super easy as well. And the last point that I want to hit with connectivity is that you can use it for up to 10 10 meters away from the device that you are connected to with Bluetooth, which is actually pretty good because it's pretty far. Next is design. Now this thing looks really, really good. It looks very similar to the Apple keyboard that a lot of people will buy for their iMacs or the one that comes with the iMac Pro. Very, very similar design. It has a space gray finish, rounded edges, which I think looks really, really cool. Not very many keyboards have rounded edges. They're normally sharper. Then we also have the number pad added on to the right side. So if you're someone who works a lot with like Excel spreadsheets or the numbers app from Apple, having this is going to be much, much easier for you. It's very, very low profile, which I love. It's like a laptop keyboard, but in a wireless keyboard that most people will use for a desktop. And it just looks really, really sleek and modern and really minimalist. The next point I want to touch on is battery life and charging. So this is USB-C charging. So you would just plug it in right there. And with a single charge, you can actually use the keyboard for up to 10 days with the backlighting feature turned on. And this part's really crazy. You can actually use it for five months with the backlighting turned off, which is a huge, huge difference. And for the people that are curious, yes, you can turn the backlighting off so that it's not always automatically turning on when you put your hands near it. Another basic feature on here is the on and off button. So it's a, so it's a little switch that you just flick on and off whenever you want to use the keyboard. You can definitely leave it on the whole time if you really want. Me personally, I just like to turn it off when I'm not using it just to conserve battery life. Now let's talk about the keys. So these are really low profile like we were talking about and how it's very similar to a laptop keyboard. And Logitech calls these keys the perfect stroke keys. And that's because of these little craters that are embedded into the actual keys themselves. So it's meant to mimic almost like your fingerprint. So you can see there's a rounded circle that your finger just easily presses. And me personally, I find that I make less errors typing on a keyboard like this just because when I want to type it, it's almost like my finger slides onto the actual circle and clicks it versus a traditional keyboard is just all flat and you kind of mess up and hit random keys every now and then. So that was a big feature for me and it gives a really unique and smooth feel when you're typing on here. It helps you to be a little more precise as well which is something that they really marketed even on the box. Now it's time to talk about the backlighting feature on the keyboard. So like I said you can get 10 days off of a single charge if you have the backlighting on the whole time. Obviously it's really good for low light situations so if you're someone who likes to say edit or write at night you're definitely going to want to see what you're actually going to be clicking on the keyboard and that backlight feature will really help or if you're someone who just works in a low light area. Now the coolest feature about the keyboard that I personally found when I was researching about it was that there's proximity sensors on the actual keyboard. So, so for example if I move my hand close to the keyboard the lights will actually turn on and then vice versa when I move my hands away the lights will turn off. So it's a really really cool feature and it will help to conserve the battery life for the keyboard itself. Now let's talk about sound. So it is very very quiet most low profile keyboards are very quiet just because of how small the distance is from the actual key to the actual keyboard it's not like a mechanical keyboard where it sounds like a typewriter and that was the biggest thing i wanted to avoid when i was in the market looking for a new wireless keyboard i didn't want that mechanical clicky sound i wanted something really low profile sleek and quiet and that's exactly what this guy does so we're going to test the sound right now
Super quiet, I know, and that is one of the biggest reasons why I bought this thing. Now let's talk software. Now Logitech software is actually really, really good and easy to use, especially with the products and the pairing process. And if you guys are Mac or PC users, you have absolutely nothing to fear. It will connect no problem. Logitech software also allows you to remap the keys and choose certain commands, which is really, really cool and convenient. And it'll make shortcuts for some people as well. And the whole pairing process is really easy too with their software. I think it took me like a maximum of like 30 seconds and then my final point guys is the accessories that you can get for this guy now me personally i have the mx master 3 mouse and it pairs perfectly with the keyboard just because the materials are the same it's the same company the software the ergonomics of the mouse and the keyboard is just an overall win-win and i will be posting a review for this guy actually tomorrow so stay tuned for that and then if you want to get real frisky you can actually get a logitech palm rest for 30 dollars canadian or 20 dollars us i don't have this guy yet but it is in my amazon shopping cart it will help the people who are constantly typing and on the computer all day it will just give a little rest to your palms and wrists but it is a little pricey i'm not gonna lie 30 dollars for a little foam rectangle but i think it will be worth it if you're someone who needs it so guys do i think the keyboard is worth it absolutely if you guys are in the market for a new wireless keyboard i definitely recommend to check this guy out just because of how easy it is to use the ergonomics with the little fingerprint creases in the actual keyboard you have a number pad look really good with the space gray finish you can switch between devices that you want to use really easily price isn't too too bad especially compared to other keyboards that are actually really good a lot of people you can just pull up a 30 dollar wireless keyboard on amazon but this is definitely going to be a lot better and this is a product that is going to last so i always recommend to get products that are actually good and are going to last you know four or five years and not buy that 30 dollar keyboard that i was just mentioning and then in a year or two have to buy a new one so i do think you get what you pay for with the Logitech MX Master Keys. It's been my favorite keyboard that I've ever used to be completely honest and the backlighting was huge too because with the Apple keyboard it doesn't have backlighting and this is essentially the Apple keyboard but with creases and backlighting and I really really like it. So guys if you want to check out the keyboard or maybe even buy it there is a link in the description and also let me know what you guys think about the keyboard. If you already have it what are some things that you like and some things you don't like if there are any because me personally I don't really have any negatives about it. But anyways guys I hope you enjoyed enjoyed this little review of the master keys if you did hit the like button and subscribe I hope you guys all have a great day and i will see you guys in the next one